Hello everyone, this video is all about making fake assignments. In this video, I will show all the steps needed in this process. Even we will be making artificial diagrams just in seconds. I will also share my marks by this assignment. Even I will compare my marks with my friend's marks. So without any further delay, let's get started. For making fake assignments, first we need fake handwriting. If you do not have your fake or artificial handwriting, I have already made a detailed video on how to make it. And I have also given that video link in the description. So step number one, is scan your blank sheet on which you want to submit your assignments through any of the software in your smartphone and make PDF. Make sure the page while scanning is perfectly straight or it may look unreal. For your convenience, I have already uploaded and given this notebook page link in description. Step number 2. Open this scanned PDF file through Adobe Acrobat DC Pro. If you do not have this software, don't worry, you can even make it on Photoshop. Even you do not have Photoshop, I have already made a video on how to download and install Photoshop 2021 lifetime for free. I have also given that video link in description. Let's rename this file as fake or smart assignment. Simply open it. Let's adjust it. These pages are the base for my 4 page assignment. Step number 3. This step is little bit easy. Just copy, paste, arrange and need to leave some space for your diagrams. First go to edit section. Now click on add text. Tap anywhere and just copy and paste the answers. Now select all, change the text size according to the page. Now search and select your font. Here all the words are bold, so let's convert it into regular. Now we need to adjust this paragraph. Make sure the sentences are perfectly aligned with the lines. Here you can change the line spacing. For my font and this page, 1.04 works perfect. It may be different for your font. So spend some time and find your perfect match. In the right section, I left some space so that I can fit diagrams here. Now let's also write the question. Here I have completed the writing work of my first page. I will be adding diagrams later in Photoshop. You can also change the color of your text. Set it to black so that it may look real. You can also make these letters italic, italic bold, bold or regular. Now only few minutes passed and I have completed all the writing work of my assignment. Now here let's add page number also. For that as usual go to edit section, click on add text and just type and arrange. Let me do it for all my pages. Now we have completed this. Make sure you save the PDF before closing. Step number 4. This step is all about adding diagrams. Open Photoshop. If you do not have Photoshop, you can download it for free from the link given in description. Now click open. 
Select your PDF and open it. Now hold control and select all the pages which you want to edit and click OK. In the selected right section, we need diagrams. For saving time, I have taken the diagrams from the internet. Just drag and drop your diagram here. Make sure the diagram must be handmade or it may look unreal. Press enter. Now only this area is of use. Rest all we need to erase. Now go and select erase tool. Hold down B and tap anywhere. Click OK. Make sure the diagram layer is selected and erase. You can also change the size of brush from here. Tap V for move tool and now this is free to move. Now take this to the desired place. We need to match the color of diagram and the page. For this, go to adjustment layer and select curves. Now tap this button. And now play with this graph until you get your perfect match. This seems perfect. Now go to the diagram layer, right click and click on blending options. Now change the blend mode from normal to multiply. And now you can see here it's completely blended. Now let's add other diagrams also. Simply drag and drop. Here as the color of the diagrams and the page are already same. So we need to blend it. Let's erase unwanted part of the image. Make sure you also erase the name of the diagram and add your own word. Arrange this. And now, as before, make sure the diagram is selected and change the blend mode from normal to multiply. It's completely blended. Now go to text tool for adding text. And tap anywhere you want to add text. Now for enlarging it, hold control and increase the diagonal. Now adjust and name it. For editing the text, select all the text and press control plus T. Here you can edit your text. Let's do it for all. Now let's complete all the pages. I haven't bought this diagram from internet, so I made it myself. If you face the same problem, then draw this diagram on non-lined paper. Now repeat the same procedure. We are done. One more thing, if you are importing diagrams from internet, make sure it must be handmade. Now for exporting, go to file, click export, click on quick export as PNG, select the location and export. 
Let's export all the images. And that's it. Now in case you do not have Adobe Acrobat DC Pro, you can do it in Photoshop as well. First of all, you need to get the dimensions of your scan notebook page. For that, right click on the page and go to properties. Details. Now here, you need to note out the height and width of your page. Now open Photoshop, click on create new. Enter the height and width. Click on create. Now here you can see the white area has same dimensions as your notebook. Now simply drag and drop your image here and simply adjust it. For adding text, go to text tool and tap anywhere you want to add text. For enlarging this text box, hold down control key and increase its size. Now just copy and paste whatever you want. But here the problem is whatever you paste comes in a straight line instead of a paragraph. So we need to adjust that. Now select all. Press Ctrl plus T to edit. Change the font. Make sure the sentence is perfectly touching the line. Adjust the text size according to the page. Adjust it. Now click on ending of the page and press enter to break the lines. Repeat this. Now from here adjust the line spacing. Adjust it a bit more and uh, it's fine. Now the step number 5. It's a simple step. You need to make a PDF of these pages again and you are done. Now the additional step which are precautions. Make sure the sentences are perfectly aligned with the lines. Text size neither be much bigger nor too smaller depending on your page and use the diagrams made by hand only. Otherwise, an entire class at Anderson High School was caught cheating. The entire class has to come back and retake the test. Hello, hello Sitesh. Yes, Paras. Could you please share your fluid marks? Mm, I got 25. And how I much guess. time it took to write that? It took me around 2 hours or more than that. Please do subscribe everyone, hit the bell icon, stay tuned and very 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 thanks for watching.